Dude, I need a new mic. And like with Christmas coming up, I'm hoping I can maybe put some money together because I doubt anybody else knows I need a new mic, but it's like if I can get one myself, that'd be great. But anyway, I need a new mic, man. This one has been, I mean, this one's been like a hand-me-down mic. It started to cut out, not cut out, but like doing these weird things. Like it'll take a word, like let's say a sentence. Uh, I Hello, my name is Dalaran and I play a rogue. And like right before it says rogue, it'll just do like, Bleh. it'll take like a sound bite of what I said and I'll like replay it and it'll make it really, really loud and just like really annoying to deal with, you know, my videos. So that's why I feel like I need a new mic because when I make my, my videos, it'll be easier for me to make quality vids. Uh, first of all, I need to have quality content. But hey, you know what? If I can't do that, at least we can make a quality mic, am I right? <laughs> but no, for real, a quality mic uh, that actually, you know, doesn't fuck up the noises would be great for me. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm a, I'm a see, see how Christmas turns out, see what we got going on. And if we don't got nothing going on, well then we got nothing going on and we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm playing Subtlety today and we're gonna try to see if uh, Subtlety needs a buff. We know that Outlaw got a buff and some people were calling for Subtlety Rogue buffs. Uh, recently, even though like you know, Outlaw got much needed buffs, and I feel like Assassination got very much deserved buffs because that spec was is all about damage, no CC. So like, hitting like a wet noodle and not having any CC is just like it feels bad, man, kind of situation. So we're gonna see if Subtlety needs any buffs after the damage I'm I can put out. So one of the I guess no issues, but not really with Subtlety, is the fact that it doesn't really have burst damage, but it comes in with a ton of CC. So I'll show you guys in a moment where all the CC comes from and just how amazing that shit is. So, for example, if I can you know, catch up to this guy, never can catch up to a Death Knight. So we're just gonna go fuck ourselves. Um, if I can get over to this Death Knight and uh, show you guys exactly how strong the CC of the Subtlety Rogue is. Come on, stop running away from me, dude. Alright, let me show you guys. Stun. Let me show you just how strong the CC of Subtlety is. Blind. Now that he's shrinked it. And we were gonna go into a triple sap, but the Feral decided to open up, so it's okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna play it out. We're just gonna play out the game, the video game. So don't worry about it. Fuck. I guess I should have uh, silenced him or something. I do have belt silence. Here we go. Pick next one. But anyway, what you can do is throw people in a full kidney, then a blind, then a triple sap. So I feel like because you could do that with subtlety, especially in like arenas, that's a blood DK. Um, then you have an advantage of mass amount of CC. We thought Outlaw Rogues was the spec with a lot of CC because they have gouge and blind and literally every CC in the game. But you just can't combo it like you can with Subtle Team. So Subtlety has like these few advantages that other specs do not. Even though some people think that Subtlety is like the uh, least preferred spec by Blizzard. Uh, I guess there could, could be an argument for it. But I feel like it's not that bad. Subtlety has a lot of ways of like escaping out of shit. You have vanished, I think, a lot more. No, you don't. You have actually vanished the same cooldown. But you have a lot of CC and a lot of good sustained damage. It might not be as bursty as you want it to be, but sustained damage is still very, very good damage in general, in my own opinion. Um, I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Unless, huh, oh, using Death Knights uh to move around and we cloak at the very last second. That the cooldown is short. Or not as short as I thought it would be. But look at the damage we're able to deal, right? We're keeping up with the Joneses. We're keeping up with Mary and Moza. <laughs> Mary and Moza, dude. That sounds like some some Christian names that would be in like a Bible. It's Christmas, so like it's appropriate too. Mary and Moza. We're hanging out. And yet, there was, out of nowhere, Cobra came out and said, Yo, eat this apple of great Jonases. It gives you 5% agility. So they did, but then they got cursed and it was like, ha ha. Odin decided to say, fuck off, get out of my goddamn garden, bitches. So those guys went out and uh, decided to get rank 1 glads all on their own, playing 2v2 brackets. They couldn't, they, they could have done 3v3s with Odin, but alas, nothing happened there. Anyway, that was my Christmas story for you guys. But is subtlety doesn't need buffs and damage. And again, my thoughts are no. It just brings so much CC, which is a great form of utility. I think it brings the most amount of CC in the game currently. So the amount of damage you're able to deal, sustain, plus the CC utility, makes for a very solid spec all on its own without the need for the extra damage. I mean, even this, I mean, the damage is a little bit buffed up for 7.1 because Subtlety is given the ability with Gorma's Bite to deal slightly more damage than it normally would be able to. So Gorma's Bite definitely helps a ton. So because of the increased damage to that 
you have the increased damage to burst and openers for like RMD style of comps. So I feel because of that potential damage to the RMD style of comps, basically sets subtlety for a decent comp and a decent playstyle that it already has developed through Legion. It might not be the same playstyle that everybody loves and remembers from back in the days of Shadow Dance being a 1 minute cooldown, which I think was a more appropriate way of using Shadow Dance because it felt like it was a decent cooldown. It felt like it actually you had burst increase during the time that you had Shadow Dance available. So once you have it up, it's a DPS increase, it's a cooldown. It's not just a buff that you kind of keep up passively on yourself. But it is, I feel like it's just a different form of the game that just tilted its damage from having lots of burst damage during small moments to basically having strong sustain throughout the whole game. And they do have you opportunities for more sustain damage with increased to finality and really utilizing your Nightblade for uh, most of your damage over time, which they are helping to fix by making sure that you have this damage because the damage of a Nightblade becomes physical, you can't dispel it off of targets. So that becomes one of the advantages, so the healers cannot just take off your damage. So you have to use abilities like Block, like Ice Block, the mage used Ice Block just now, in order to, I guess, take off the damage in general. So there won't be a ways for people to escape this damage in an easy manner. So I feel like it kind of helps out the spec in general. And plus again, a massive amount of CC helps out a ton for the spec in general. Just the kidney into a blind, into a triple sap. I mean, that's a powerful combo in my opinion. And I feel like that's enough for you to deal all the damage you need. Plus when you combine yourself with another class, like a mage who can do a ton of damage, you bring in the CC. The mage, mage brings in the amazing offensive power uh, for the burst increase and I guess general burst. You lock down the target like how I am doing for Lamantha. I'm locking him down, he's throwing in arcane charges, I'm bringing in sustain, he's bringing in the burst, and we have a little bit more of different type of synergy. It's not really like burst synergy line up everything at the same time go because Outlaw basically has that type of burst synergy. But Subtlety will have this sustained synergy, which in my opinion is a little bit easier to manage because with burst synergy it's like, okay, we got burst, if we get CC'd or defenses are popped and then nullified, it's like, Okay, we have to set up again, and I feel like there's a little bit more skillfulness to it. Maybe not from Rogue's perspective in general, because you're just popping Thickest Thieves, popping all cooldowns, going through your rotation, but lining it up as a team, I feel like that's where a little bit of difficulty comes from. But subtlety, you always have the sustained damage, and yes, you won't have the burst damage to help you lock in the kill, but the sustained damage means even if you don't score a kill right now, if you have so much mobility, punch. like for example, just now I use Shadow Dance, or uh, Shadow Dance, Shadow Strike, to kick the enemy so I shadow strike to them to gain the advantage of uh, mobility and then kick them so I'm combining two abilities in one so I'm able to initiate on target move in on them and interrupt their cast giving me even more mobility which in general gives you more control because you are able to kick a lot more targets a lot more often and I feel like subtlety will be all right as a spec I mean some of the small changes they're making some but one is just going to solidify the spec even more but I think before that it was a solid spec and was the spec of preference. Maybe not so much in 2v2s, but it is playable in 2v2s if you watch PS Hero play. PS Hero shows that subtlety is very much viable in 2s and can deal a decent amount of damage in general. Like for example, I'm just gonna CC the shit out of these guys and deal as much damage as possible. The mage blinks, I blind him. I could probably resap him in a sec. Nope, can't resap him. So I'm just gonna kidney this guy full. He trinketed that. And we're just taking so much damage right now. Ooh. Yep, everybody's taking so much damage, and so am I. I actually don't have anything. I'm dead. Unless I can live a little longer. What am I running down? Soothe the darkness. Okay, soothe the darkness. Chilling. Oh, thank you, Pilgrim. Thank you, Pilgrim. Oh, Pilgrim. Oh, my main man, Pilgrim. Thank you, buddy. That sucks. Yeah, this sucks for me. Oh, this is so bad. If you can polymorph him, I'm just running. I'm just running. Oh, so that was a thing. I'm gonna sit in stealth to get my health back up. Cool. Oh, the Mantha died. I was trying to do my best to help you out, my man. I didn't really get that much CC in because I feel like somebody could have. Somebody broke out my. Did I get an 855 just now? What? Out of a battleground? Are you kidding me? 855? Yeah. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, I feel like I didn't do that great in, uh, in terms of. This BG in particular is subtlety, but I think I did pretty good. I did what a subtlety rogue is supposed to. And of course, you can prove from what I had in terms of my gameplay. I feel like a lot of players 
the play subtlety can definitely improve and do better than I did. But I didn't really get that many kill blows, which I guess where subtlety should be standing at because you have just so, so much mobility. You should be the guy finishing targets off. But I was more the kind of guy that was engaging people and trying to CC. So I feel like because you have so much CC, it gives you the potential, right? You don't have to have the most damage, but because of the CC, it gives you the potential, which is just, it's interesting. And I've always been the kind of guy that played Outlaw, I mean Combat, played Combat Rogue back in the day, because of its like potential damage, not because of its guaranteed damage, or potential utility in PvP, not because of guaranteed damage, or guaranteed potential in PvP. Um, so if you like, I see potential with subtlety and with the way it currently is. If subtlety did get above though, that'd be nice. But I don't think it definitely, I don't think it requires a buff. But that's just my personal opinion. So let me know what you guys think about yourselves and your opinion on subtlety. I think I've given as much of a point as I could while trying to kind of rush it while doing a BG. So it might not be fully coherent, but I'm pretty sure most of you understand exactly what I'm talking about. So feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below. My name is Dal. Feel free to check out some of my recent videos, by the way, if you want to check them out. And, uh... Give this video a like if you guys could. If you enjoy the content and wanted to keep making videos. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate you all being here, chilling, coming out, watching yet another video. Christmas is coming up very, very soon. So hopefully everybody is prepared and excited. I'm going to see if I can snag myself a new mic during the big-ass sales that are happening. Until then, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.